Pyfox Paul here again, just a follow up on this DC to DC step down converter that I installed a couple of weeks ago to power the TP4056 chargers. So the plan was use my power wall to power this set of chargers and it's all a lovely um, symbiotic system. The solar charges the power bank, the power bank runs this which charges up my new cells and onwards it goes. And I'm, I mentioned how this is a 20 amp rated converter and it's a cheap Chinese 20 amps which actually means in the real world it'll cope with 10 amps okay. Uh, I was, when I had it full it was drawing about just under 15 amps um, and getting quite hot. So I was thinking about putting a heatsink or a fan or both heatsink and fan. So I rummaged through my box of computer fans uh, looking for a fan that I could put or a heatsink that I could put on the back of this thing. Um, I could do that, that would be amazing, but it's suddenly ridiculously large and cumbersome, so that was no good. That's quite nice because it fits perfectly, but it's still a damn bulky scenario, but it would cost me nothing, so that's an option. Um, heat pipes, not really. Um, I put, here's another heat sink and smaller fan, so I could, I could take that heat sink off and have the fan blowing directly air into the interior, that would work, or even a smaller fan, so it's not quite so um, cumbersome, but that would actually work quite well I suspect. Um, so anyway, I, I rummaged through that and was almost about to do, do that, that fan, or maybe this tiny one here, um, which would be even more focused. Um, but then I managed to accidentally, very momentarily, short the output. And when I did that, flames came out, smoke and smell, and now it's dead. So, I have got myself what I should have done initially, which is a, a 40 amp rated DC to DC converter. And this one, as you can see, it's a lot bigger, but it's not much higher. Um, and it will screw into the top there. Uh, so I'll be able to fold it away quite nicely. Um, so that's my new, my, my new solution. It's a 40 amp, Chinese 40 amp, meaning real world 20 amps quite happily, and it'll do the 15 amps that it, this uses when it's full without breaking a sweat. So I thought, just out of curiosity, I would open this up and have a look at what's inside. Okay. It's a Rev1 board and the date code is 19th of May 2016, so it's reasonably recent. It's got a couple of fuses over here. It's got lots more um, capacitors than the than the smaller unit. Let's have a look at the small one. So this is supposed to be rated at 20 amps. This is 40 amps. And there's a lot more going on in this one. 
It's a THJ12PL05. So what I'm going to do next is put on a put on a voltmeter on the output so that I always know what's going on and then attach this to the lid of my charger box. Okay, that's good. Next up, voltmeter. This is just one of these little DC voltmeters that I've added a tiny switch to so I can turn it off if I get sick of looking at it. Save a tiny bit of power and it's on a piece of, small piece of Vero board. These are the ones that only go down to about 4 volts, so they're not as good as these ones that I showed in a previous video that go all the way down to 2.4. Uh, so I've cut myself a piece of this super thin um, printed circuit board material that uh, I found in an old e-bike battery. They use this um, to provide some structural integrity to the outside before they do the heat, the heat shrinking process. Um, and then I just hot glued it straight on top of the other screws. Oh, if I really thought about it, I could have made this longer and protected all the screws. I wonder if that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Maybe I should do that. And put something over there too. That would be smart. I should do that, shouldn't I? But I'm not sure if I can be bothered. Nah, bugger it. Um, I want to measure that. Eh, no, I won't, will I? Because this will tell me what's going on. No, I can't be bothered. Okay. I did think about printing some kind of 3D printed brackety thing that would have been very nice for this, but then sanity prevailed and I just hot glued it and I'll hot glue this in in place and save myself an awful lot of time. Okay, while I'm here, I'm going to cover those I just realised that if I want this to be low profile to fold shut I need to stick it down here, out of the way. The new plan is to have it sitting down there. That's going to work. Okay, hot glue gun again. Left it there. Hold that and wait for a bit. Okay, let's plug this in and see what happens.
Lovely. TP45s are good. And I've got 5.02 volts on the output. Lovely. Uh, and this will take an input of anywhere between 30 and probably 11 volts. Um, so that is good for my 24 volt system. And it will cope with a 12 volt system as well. So that is much better than it was previously. And it, it, unfortunately it doesn't close completely anymore. So it's not quite as nice as it was, but it's a much safer system. Good. All right. Well, hope that's been interesting for you. Um, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.